Canada has the longest coastline of any country in the world, with more than 10,000 aids to navigation, but only 40 to 50 of them produce data. That's what we call a coast scout. Marine Lab says their mission is to transform those aids to navigation into a data hub that would provide hyper-localized real-time weather data for vessels and ports to help guide them. Over the past year in Atlantic Canada, they've been transforming aids to navigation into data buoys. Getting real-time information from a buoy like this out on the water during an event like a hurricane could be critical for anyone on shore. Their new sensor is called the Coast Scout. So what kind of info does it gather? Directional wind, directional waves, um, 360 camera views on some of our units, and also the temperature of the water and the air. This is an integral part of the wind sensors. Basad says the Canadian Coast Guard would benefit during rescue missions involving boats and helicopters. They need to know what they're going to face. They need to know how tall the waves are. They need to know where the wind is coming from. And not just what's the average wind, but what's the gas. Canada currently has 40 to 50 legacy smart aids to navigation that make data available through government programs, but they are quite large at about three meters tall and two meters wide. Marine Lab says their sensors are much smaller due to recent changes in technology, and they use far less power. The Coast Scout sensor is a bolt-on system. Four bolts, and you can deploy it on any buoy, whether it's an aid to navigation or a buoy that we would put in the water ourselves. Marine Labs turned 13 aids to navigation into data buoys in Atlantic Canada over the past year alone.